Hey guys, thanks for joining me. This is gonna be a fairly short video, but I wanted to cover an interesting topic. If you're considering something like the AC500, you actually have quite a few different AC charging options, and there's a lot of considerations to make with that. Now with the standard AC500, obviously, as you probably are already aware, uh, and if you're not, if you haven't seen my previous videos on the AC500, uh, I'll put links to those in the description below. Um, but the, this doesn't have any of its own battery capacity. You have to have at least one of these B300 or B300S battery modules, preferably the S because it supports the full 50 amps. Uh, and then you can add on, I think, up to six of these B300Ss on a single AC500 uh, inverter head unit. And the AC500 does come by default uh, with a standard three prong 120 volt uh, charging cable. But using this 120 volt plug, uh, you're limited to 15 amps of charging. And that's probably okay if you have just one of these uh, expansion uh, batteries, these B300Ss. But once you start getting more than one of these, it's gonna take a pretty long time to top this thing back off using just AC plug. Now, if you're charging it overnight, probably not a big deal. You can certainly do it with a standard plug. But if you want to be able to charge this faster, you have a couple of options. First of all, you could go up to 30 amps of charging using this accessory cable, and this is optional. And for this, you would need an L1430 30 amp circuit, which is that four prong. And I'll put a close up of this so you can see what I'm talking about. But this is a L1430P, and the P stands for plug. If you see something that says L1430R, that's a receptacle, so that's the female version. So the P is the, is the male version, right? But the L1430, as the number 30 indicates, uh, has a maximum of 30 amps. And then you have an option if you wanna go faster with the AC500, because it can support up to 50 amp charging via AC. You can get this monster cable here as an accessory. And this cable is obviously much heavier gauge. It's exactly the same on this end, because this is the end that plugs into the side here of the AC500, but this is an L1450P or plug, right? So this is a 50 amp plug. And to use this cable, you need something like this guy over here. This is an L1430R or receptacle. So it's the female version. Now I had this wired up in anticipation of probably getting an EV here sometime in the next year. And I wanted to be able to do at least 50 amp charging. So that's called level two charging in the EV world, but it's also great for charging lots of battery packs. So in this case, if you have, say, two or more of these B300Ss, this is a great way to go for charging. Now, one thing that you'll have to be aware of is if you're going to do more than 15 amp charging, in order to enable that, there's a password, and you have to reach out to Blue Eddy for that password to enable that feature. And they do that for safety reasons, because if you were able enable that 50 amp charging on there, or even 30 amp for that matter, and start pulling that through a 120, first of all, you're gonna trip a breaker in all likelihood, assuming your house is wired correctly, because you're probably only connected to a 15 or 20 amp circuit on this. So it's gonna trip a breaker. And that's a good thing, because if you allow this thing to continue to pull 50 amps in this small cable, it's gonna melt the insulation and cause a fire. And another thing to be aware of about these L14s, even though this, this cable in this particular um, outlet or receptacle can handle 50 amps, if it's not been cabled properly or installed with say number six gauge cable, to handle 50 amps, it could be set at something like 30 amps. So you need to check your breaker for these uh, receptacles to make sure, because a lot of dryers, uh, a lot of uh, ovens and things like that, a lot of them are only 30 amps. And so they may only have wire that's capable of uh, handling 30 amps. It might be eight gauge wire instead of six gauge wire. Now mine, I had put in a 50 uh, amp breaker with six gauge wire, had it done by an electrician, so it is done properly. So I know this is safe to do. Uh, but you definitely would not want to do um, 50 amps on this cable, even though using that unlock code would give you access to that. So you have to know what you're using, what the, uh, the receptacle's capabilities are, so that you don't overwhelm the cable with current and create a fire hazard. And that is why Bloody makes you uh, reach out to them so that they can make sure you have the right cable and you know what you're doing properly before uh, you end up creating a uh, safety hazard for yourself. All right, let's take a look at the configuration here and see how this is gonna work. All right, now I have plugged in the uh, 50 amp cable into my 50 amp circuit. And notice that we are currently only charging at 1600 watts. And that is because I have that limited in the charging section here. So if I go to settings and then next, 
down here, max current settings. I can go in there and in basic mode, I can choose up to 15 amps. So I can click 15 amps and then go back out here, go back. And now you can see we are charging at 1846 watts. Now the reason I'm reading just a little higher than 1800 watts is because my uh, electric service here at the house runs a little bit high. So on a normal 120 volt circuit, I'm actually getting something like 124 volts typically. But if I want even faster charging, I can go into settings and then go into next and go into max current settings again. And this time I can go to advanced mode. Now advanced mode is basically telling you right here that you have to accept responsibility. You must know what you're doing and make sure you have this safely configured uh, and wired before you run in this mode. So I'm gonna go ahead and say yes. And then it's asking for a password. And again, it says contact Bluetti customer service for that password. Now I've already done that. So I'm gonna go ahead and type that in. All right, and that will give me access. And no, by the way, I'm not going to share that password with you. <laughs> There's a reason, as I said, that Blue Eddy protects that. Uh, so, but this is how, once you have the password, you can come in and enable 30 amp charging, 20 amp charging, 40 or 50 amp charging, or you can go to user defined. And now I can go all the way up to 50 amps or anything underneath that if I want. So just to show you here what some of the presets are, I'm gonna go ahead and do 30 amp charging, and then I'll go back and you'll see we are now charging this thing 3,600 watts. So basically we're charging at double the rate we were before. So we're just taking that same 120 volts and we are multiplying that by uh, 15 amps to get the 1800 watts. And then we were multiplying that now by 30 amps to get 3,600 watts. And then we can go all the way up to 50 amps on this particular circuit. And that will dramatically improve our charge speed go back into settings and apparently you have to type in the password every time. All right, let's go ahead and set this to 50 amps and hopefully I don't trip a breaker. And let's let that climb. And now we're charging at 5,000 Watts and that is going to allow me to top this thing off very quickly. All right, so I told you this was gonna be a quick one. That's fairly straightforward. There's one more thing that I do wanna to, to cover, and that is if you are going to connect two of these AC500s in a split phase configuration, if you wanna be able to keep those, like say in a UPS backup mode, kind of a setup where they're plugged into grid power and, and passing through power to your, your manual transfer switch, for example, um, if you wanna be able to charge those separately, you, you can't just simply plug those in using the standard 120 cable. Now, technically you could, if you each AC500 happens to be in a different outlet that is pulling from a different phase on your uh, two phases coming in uh, from your electric service. So if you knew that you had two outlets that are on different circuits and one's on leg one, one's on leg two, then yes, you could actually plug those in if they were within reach and do that. But a much better way would be to use the split phase charging cable. This particular one is the 30 amp version, but they do make the 50 amp version as well. And it has the connectors for each of the uh, uh, power stations, each of the AC 500s here. So you'd plug this into one, this into the, so one into the master, one into the slave. And then this would go into your 240 outlet and it would uh, allow you to then charge on two separate phases because that's the only way to AC charge these AC 500s or the 300s if you have them in split phase mode. So just be aware of that. All right, I think that about does it. If you found anything here at all helpful, please consider giving me a thumbs up. Really appreciate that. Uh, I got links to pretty much anything that we've talked about here in the uh, description below if you wanna go check any of that stuff out. But uh, yeah, hopefully you found some of that helpful. I do hope you'll consider joining me for the next one. Until then, have fun out there.